Ahoy and welcome. My name is Clemens Helm and this is CodeShip Testing Tuesday number 15. Last week I showed you how to set up RSpec with your Ruby and Rails applications. This week we're going to do the same thing for Cucumber. Special thanks to Raphael who showed me an even faster way of setting up RSpec. I'm going to use your technique in today's episode. We're going to set up one standalone Ruby application and one Rails application, because there are a few differences in the setup. Let's get started with the standalone application first. Let's create an empty directory cucumber app for our application. In the directory, we initiate bundler by calling bundle init. This will create a gem file for us. Let's add the cucumber gem. Gem cucumber and install it by running bundle. When we run Cucumber now, it tells us no such file or directory features. Cucumber will look for our features in the features directory. So let's create it. Now Cucumber runs successfully without executing any features. Let's add a simple feature. We will call it warm welcome feature. I will just paste the feature in here. So in order to make my users feel comfortable on my website as the website owner, I want to greet them appropriately. And in the case of a sailor, given I am a sailor, then I want to be greeted ahoy and welcome. When we run Cucumber now, it lists the missing step definitions. Let's copy these snippets and put them in a file in folder step definitions. And let's call the file sailor steps rb. So in the given step, we want a new user. Let's save it in an instance variable with type sailor. And in the then step, we want to check if the user greeting should be the greeting we're passing in. And let's name this argument greeting up there. So when we run Cucumber again now, it tells us that it doesn't know the constant user. Let's add a user class in a folder lib. And let's call it user rp. And in here we make the class user. But now Cucumber still complains because we need to require user rb somewhere. Let's do that in the sailor steps. So at the top, we add require user. We get a different error message now because the user's constructor doesn't accept any arguments yet. But how did Cucumber know where to look for the user class? We didn't explicitly tell it to look in the lib directory. Like I already showed you in last week's episode, there's a global variable that contains the load path of source files. When we print this variable in our cucumber steps, it will list our lib directory as first entry of the load path. Cucumber added this directory because there's a convention to put your Ruby classes there. Okay, let's remove the put statement again. Cucumber complained about our constructor, so let's make it accept a type argument. And now Cucumber still misses the greeting method. So let's add that as well. And now Cucumber complains that it doesn't know the method should. The reason is that Cucumber doesn't contain the RSpec measures. By default, you can use Minitest, which is included in the Ruby standard library. We could rewrite our step definition as assert equal user greeting and the other greeting. This will give us the expected result. But how can we stick with our RSpec syntax? We have to install RSpec expectations. Let's add them to our gem file. We install them with bundler and run Cucumber again. And now our feature runs on RSpec. Great. 
Let's fix the error by greeting our sailor correctly. Ahoy and welcome. Now our feature works. But what if we want to greet sailors on our Rails web application as well? Let's create a new Rails application for this and call it Rails Greeter. We could use the Cucumber gem here as well, but there is a special Cucumber Rails gem that comes with additional goodies for Rails. Let's add it to the test environment in our gem file. We added require false, so Cucumber isn't loaded when we run other testing tools like RSpec. The Cucumber command will require the Cucumber gem anyway. It's also recommended to add the database cleaner gem to your gem file. Let's do that. Database cleaner makes sure that your database is cleaned after every scenario. Now we need to run bundle again. And everything is installed. Cucumber Rails provides us with a generator script to set up Cucumber. We only need to run Rails generate Cucumber install. This will do a few things. It creates a Cucumber YAML file. This defines three Cucumber profiles, default, work in progress and rerun. You can run Cucumber with each of these profiles by passing the profile option, like this. Cucumber profile work in progress. So running this work in progress profile will run scenarios tagged with whip and complain if there are more than three of them. You can customize the options for these profiles or add your own profiles in this file. The installer also created a Cucumber script. In Rails 4 this actually belongs in the bin directory, so let's move the file and delete the script directory. The script makes sure that the right Cucumber distribution is required. The install script also added directories for the features, the step definitions and support files and already created the first support file envrb which contains the Cucumber configuration like the default capybara selector or which database cleaner strategy to use. And it creates a rake file to run Cucumber from a rake task. Let's check out what tasks were created. So there are several tasks to run only subsets of your features. In general, I recommend against using them though, because Rake increases the load time for Cucumber. And finally, the install script modified the database YAML file. So what it did was, it added an additional environment Cucumber, which inherits from the test environment. So it uses the same database. I won't go into detail about how to write your features again, because it works the same way as for other Ruby applications. So the main advantage of the Cucumber Rails gem is that it hooks directly into your Rails application by creating everything that's necessary with the installation script. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you to try Cucumber. It's very easy to set up and I personally love working with it. In the next few days, we're gonna review the book Cucumber Recipes, which contains a Cucumber solution for almost every problem. Don't miss out on that. See you next Testing Tuesday when we're going to talk about JavaScript testing with Jasmine. And please do me a favor, always stay shipping.